monstrous figure, resembling a skeleton, suddenly appeared before the girl, leaving her wide-eyed in terror. As it turned out, this skeletal-looking character was a Shinigami, and it told Misa that by writing someone's name in a notebook, that person would die. Soon the news was broadcasted on television, with a person claiming to be the second Kira, openly supporting Kira. Just like Kira, he aimed to create an ideal world free from wrongdoing, where all those opposing Kira had to die. One talk show host, who adamantly opposed Kira during a live broadcast, died the next second. The second Kira turned out to be Misa, the one who had obtained the dark notebook. Her reason for doing this was to find Kira. At this time, Lai was infiltrating the police station, engaging in a mental battle with his old nemesis, Detective L. One day, Misa accidentally discovered that Light's lifespan was not displayed above his head. She realized he was Kira and decided to approach him. Misa's ability to see people's names and lifespans was a result of exchanging half of her lifespan. For the Death Note's shining gummy eyes, she offered to obey Light's orders, but wanted to be his girlfriend in return. Three years ago, Misa's family had been murdered by robbers, and Light had avenged her. Therefore, she regarded Kira as a kind of deity and thanked him immensely. Light agreed to Misa's condition and planned to use her Shinigami eyes to kill L. To uncover L's real name, Misa intentionally lifted L's mask. Just as Light was about to call and inquire about L's name, he was shocked to find Misa's phone in L's hand. Misa was secretly arrested by the police because they suspected her to be the second Kira. However, Misa remained steadfast and refused to say anything, no matter how much they interrogated her. In order to protect her secret, she voluntarily gave up ownership of the Death Note and had all her memories related to the notebook erased. Rem approached Light, insisting that he must rescue Misa, or else he would meet the same fate. Light quickly devised a plan. He buried the Death Note underground and informed the Shinigami that when he said the word discard, it meant he was giving up ownership of the notebook. Then, Light intentionally went to the police station, claiming that his subconscious mind could potentially be Kira. He hoped the authorities would detain him if Kira emerged during his confinement. It would prove Misa's and his innocence. On the third day of his confinement, a death note fell from the sky and landed next to a woman. Curious she picked it up, and at that moment, the Shinigami Rem appeared before her. On the seventh day of Light's confinement, he officially relinquished ownership of the death note, and all memories related to the notebook were erased. Meanwhile the woman who had obtained the death note began writing the names of criminals frantically. One by one, the criminals started dying of heart attacks. This was all part of Light's plan, because the woman was a staunch supporter of Kira. Light and Misa quickly cleared their names and, with Light's memories of the death note erased, resumed their investigation of Kira. Through big data analysis, the police swiftly identified the woman. They used a decoy to lure her out and successfully captured her. At that moment, the police chief picked up the notebook from the ground and unexpectedly saw the Shinigami rim. This led them to speculate that anyone who had touched the notebook could see a Shinigami. Light then quickly touched the notebook, and in the next moment, all his memories related to the Death Note came flooding back. This was all part of his plan, as he knew he could encounter the Death Note again. The man opened a hidden compartment on his wristwatch and took out a large needle. He then pricked his own hand and quickly wrote down a name. In the next moment, the woman who had been apprehended suddenly passed away. The investigation's leads were once again disrupted. Later, Light had Misa, who had lost her memories of the Death Note, come to a forest and dig up the black notebook that had been buried there. The moment Misa touched the notebook, her lost memories were instantly restored. Lai instructed her to write down Detective L's real name in the notebook. However, despite all the time that had passed, Misa couldn't recall L's true name. Since Misa had been released, a large number of criminals continued to die every day, and the police still harbored suspicions about her involvement. As a result, L and Misa brought in again by his butler. At this point, Rem knew that Misa was likely falling into a trap, so he had to violate the rules and personally write down the butler's and L's names in the death note. Subsequently, Rem died. With the butler's demise, L also fell. It was only at this point that L realized that Light was the real Kira. However, Light didn't stop there. He planned to kill his own father. However, a twist occurred. L and actually died. He had previously written in the death note that he would pass away peacefully 23 days later. They had already replaced the real death note in Misa's possession with a fake one and spread false news, pretending that all the criminals L had written in the notebook had died. Now with concrete evidence, Light attempted to continue resisting, but he was cornered by the police. An officer shot his wristwatch, and a small piece of paper fell out, explaining the secret behind the woman's sudden mysterious death. With no way out, Light ordered the Shinigami to kill everyone, but the death note contained his own name. If you enjoyed this story, feel free to follow my channel.